Hi guys, the FM Gaffer here, and welcome to episode 33 of my Conquering the British Isles series with Annan. So, we are about four or five months into the, uh, our first championship season, and we're not in the relegation zone, is the good news. However, we are dangerously above it. Um, we are only above the relegation zone on goal difference from Calum Beath. Um, so yeah, we've, we're sitting on 14 points, so are they? Falkirk at the bottom are sitting on 12, as you can see. Um, so yeah, but to be honest, the performances haven't been bad. It's just we've been playing really tough opponents. And yeah, it's been, but yeah, we've, we've, we've done alright, actually. Um, the aim, as I said in a previous episode, that is to avoid relegation. And it looks like if we, well, it looks like we can do that. It's definitely a possibility, obviously. Um, and yeah. I think I think we I think we will do. I have confidence in the team. So, since you last joined me, I'm just going to see if there's any transfers. I can't remember. Uh, I think they were all on there, weren't they? Yeah, it was just the four. Since then, I've released Darren Ramsey. Uh, a couple of loans. Uh, for, I think Love was the only loan that was on there. So yeah, Ramsey. They kept billing me as he was only one and a half star, but he had four and a half star potential. And then I just looked one day, and it was like, oh, his potential's gone down to what he is now. So I'm just going to release him because, yeah, he doesn't really add anything to the team. So, looking at the schedule, obviously you can see there's been a, quite a few losses, uh, as expected. But yeah, it's a good period here, quite a few wins. Um, there haven't been many draws, I've noticed. There's one, two draws in the whole season so far. So yeah. But let's go through the results. So after that first Hibs game uh, that we live commed, that we lost 4-0, we then lost them again in the training cup second round, 2-0. Spence and White getting the goals for them. Yeah, it was a fine performance. We just it's just Hibs. Enough said. Then this, ah, oh, this really annoyed me. We dominated this game. Um, we should have scored a bunch of times in the last 20, 30 minutes. And then Faisal El Bahaktui <laughs> in the 92nd minute of play gives Dunfermline uh, the win. Sorry about that. Uh, where were we? There we are. Um, which yeah gives them the win. And yeah, we lost. <laughs> Uh, our first points in the league taken away from us. Uh, so yeah, then we moved on. Another loss here against Ross County. We fared much better. Danny Johnson scoring twice. Uh, uh, either side of Chris Blackett's goal and then Jake Shepard getting a third. We then got our first win of the season since there is uh, since the start of the league season in the, uh, the Scottish League Cup. We beat Ross County, who we just lost to, uh, after extra time in the League Cup second round. So that was a fantastic effort. Extra time winner from Chris Blackett. We then uh, went on to win our first uh, game in the league against away at Livingston. Uh, Declan Gallagher on goal. Doherty gave them the equaliser. Swinglehurst made it 2-1. And then uh, Harley Willard uh, doubled the advantage before a Quinn penalty brought them back into it. But a late Ryan Hardy go goal sealed the win. Uh, we then beat Falkirk 3-1. Uh, Blackett gave us the lead. Two second half goals from uh, uh, Miller on goal and Hutchinson. Give us 3-0 and then Scooby got one back uh, later on. But then unfortunately went down to today's opponents, Wraith. Gary Oliver, penalty, only goal of the game there. But then we fantastically beat Premiership Partick Thistle in the Scottish League Cup third round. So yeah, this was a fantastic result. Black gave us the lead. Vaughan uh, then got the equaliser there. They then got a man sent off. I went attacking for uh, the last seven minutes and the whole of extra time. Couldn't get the breakthrough. But we won it on penalties, which was, yeah, really good performance. And you can see we've got a bunch of injuries in that match as well. Uh, we then went on to beat Motherwell 1 0. Ryan Hardy, great result. Uh, Motherwell, of course, as you know, former Premiership team. And yeah, it was a great victory for us. So, yeah, we won there. Uh, we then uh, lost, unfortunately, to Calvin Beath. Uh, McLean gave him a lead, Swinglehurst penalty, and then McLean got a 90th minute winner. Ugh. <laughs> we then uh, got a draw against Hibernia. This was much better performance against Hibs. Uh, Barry Mackay gave him the lead. Harley Willard get the got the equaliser just a minute after half time. So yeah, that was a good performance against Hibs. Uh, we then unfortunately lost to home to Dundee. Craig Whiten with the only goal of the game uh, before we crashed out of the Scottish League Cup five one in the quarter final against Kilmarnock. Yeah, we made a terrible start. Four 0 down in thirty one minutes. The second half we drew one all kind of. Uh, Graham giving us the lead. Uh, not the lead, but that's a goal, not 11 minutes from the end, and then Gary Boyle uh, getting a fifth. 
We then beat Huntley in the uh, Scottish Cup third round. Greg Waddell with two. Scott Holmes, who is a uh, youngster, getting the third. We then uh, drew away at Dunfermline, one all. Ross Callahan giving them the lead. Greg Waddell getting equalised four minutes later. And we recently lost to Ross County, uh, 3 2. We were 3 0 down. Denny Johnson scored two penalties and Robbie McNapp own goal gave him 3 0 lead. But two late goals from Kevin Hutchinson, who has, yeah, shown signs of progre progression. He's got good potential ability. What is it? A uh, good championship attacking the field. So that's not too bad. Um, in the future, we then moved on. A uh, nice 1 0 away win uh, against Falkirk. Chris Blackett gave us the lead in the fifth minute and we never let go of it. Ricky Waddell getting sent off. Uh, we then unfortunately lost at home to Livingston at Aston Roy with two goals at the end of the match. And then we've just gone out of the Scottish Cup fourth round to Dundee United, unfortunately. Gavin Ross, Cammy Ballantyne and Paul McMurlin giving them a 3-0 lead. Hollywood getting one back, but it's too little too late. So I've already chosen a team for you guys today uh, against Wraith. Um, so yeah, there you go. There it is. I'm going to go through it all. Um, Greg Waddell wanted me to play him a bit more, but I I just didn't. <laughs> um, and I said I agreed to it, but then I just didn't play him as much. Um, so I think I'm gonna look to sell him in January for around one k. Off of him right now and see how it goes after the game. I'm also Morgan Neal wants to leave, and I rejected a bid from Motherwell. Um, and Darren Petrie, he said uh, if a bid comes in from Morton, then to accept it. But Hibbs are the ones interested. Oh, out of contract. Oh yeah. And both of their contracts are running out, and I can't offer them because they're unhappy, which is annoying. But anyway, um, yeah, so I can't really do much about that. But they're both going to be playing for me today. Uh, Chris Brown, I brought this guy in from the Youth Academy. He's just been playing left back for me mainly. Um, only real left back at the club. I don't want to keep playing Roger there because yeah, it's, it's an unnatural position, and Petri plays there sometimes. But yeah, I brought Chris Brown into the senior squad. Um, may have been a bit of a mistake leaving Paul Muck, uh, Paul Muck, not Paul Muck, what's he called? Why did he do that? Paul Grant, what, Paul Muck, I was going to say, yeah, anyway, Paul Grant may have been a mistake loaning him out. Can I, can I end his loan? No, no, can't, okay, well, yeah, so he's out on loan at... Albion. So yeah, he's getting good experience, uh, but it'll be good to have him back next season. So yeah, Brown will fill in at left back. Uh, yeah, it's just normal midfield. Willard and Aaron Robertson. Blackett, who uh, hasn't been as prolific, but still getting a few goals. Six goals in 16 appearances, so that's not too bad. Three and eight in the league, or three and ten, depending on how you look at it. So I'm going to submit that team. Move on. How much have been his absence? Don't even know who that is. But yeah, so improved from their last outing against uh, Dundee United. I think that's a good team talk. Got them riled up a bit. Um, so yeah, here we go. Wraith, Ro uh, Anon Athletic versus Wraith Ro I think they're Wraith Rovers. It's Wraith Rovers. Anywho, <laughs> um, hopefully we can get the win today because um, Wraith are a kind of team around about us. They're three points ahead of us. So a win would put us level on points with them, possibly above them. So yeah, here's Finn Graham on the ball now. Ellis gets to Willard. Ellis has been solid at right back. He hasn't missed a game, I don't think. Or he might have missed one or two. Uh, Blackett! Ooh, that was a good early chance. And here's Brown looking for Blackett again. But yeah, that's the end of the highlight. And swiftly followed by another one this time for Wraith. Allardyce. So Sam Oot hits the bar and Morgan Neal clears. It's always Morgan Neal, the one that clears it. That's why I want to keep him around. But yeah, it looks like he wants to go. And it looks like there's interest. Um, I might I might just like look to sell him in January so we can actually get some money for it because he's a good player. Um, Finn Graham now, Petri. There's another one that I might do the same with. And Robertson shot, canning off Gibson for the corner. Robertson in now, Samut away. Chris Blackett, Ellis, Willard, Graham, Petri. I mean, to be honest, it's early. It's relatively early in the season. Playoff spot is only. 10 points away so yeah it's not the end of the world actually top is only 13 points away then again a bottom is currently a point away <laughs> or not even that uh if oh crap we're going down Callum be clearly winning um so yeah here's petri there and hopefully we'll be winning soon here's aaron robertson 
should have scored or should have put it on a plate for somebody else. But here's another chance here. Chris Brown to Aaron Robinson. Brown in. Oh, I thought it was going to be an own goal there, but it just comes through for Gibson. He throws it out to Waters. Goes long behind Colin McNabb. And in comes Oliver. Oliver. Good save from Ross Stewart. Corner now. Anderson. Get it away. Come on, Neil. Summit. Anderson. Ah, and Tennant straight at Stewart. So good keeping from Ross Stewart there. Good positioning. So yeah, Falkirk and Calderbeath, the two teams below us, both winning against Hibs. Howden Beath would never beat him. <laughs> That's so stupid. I mean, I'll say we owe Ray Petrie. I can bring on for bring off, bring off. Sorry for Hutchinson. Hopefully he can do uh, a job. Get a couple, get a goal maybe. Here's Ellis. We've been dominating this game, huh? Here's Willard. Finn Graham. Another one. Hutchinson comes back to Colin McNabb. Hutchinson black it. Ah, uh, should have scored. I just realised it's not even Colin McNabb, it's Robbie McNabb. So I apologise about that. I've been calling him Colin for ages. <laughs> Awkward. I should really know my player's name. Um, so yeah, it looks like this is going to... I, don't want, I just want to win. Uh, I'm going to go attack it. Wait, wait, wait. Why was I on counter? Oh, I was on counter from the last match against Dundee. And black it should have scored there. Come on, lads. Uh, no, it's going to be all over. Nil nil, it finishes here at Wraith. So, so that simply put was not good enough. Fires up a couple of them. But yeah, we should have won this match. We did dominate, and I think we should have got the win. Possibly because we were on counter. I didn't realise that might have been an issue. But yeah, I don't think we would have fared much better. So we do still sit eighth, get, picking up another point. Every point's uh, important. And I will probably join you for the next episode, nearer the end of the season, if not the end of the season. Um, because, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sh keen to show a little losses to you, <laughs> which they most likely will be. So, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. Um, nil, nil, ball draw. I mean, yeah, can't say much about that. But, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And I've been the FM Gaffer, and I'll see you guys next time.